Today's activity is going to be hatching dinosaurs. We're going to make these awesome eggs the kids can break open and then they'll find a treat hiding inside which will be the dinosaur. To make your dinosaur eggs you're going to need two cups of water measured out, used coffee grounds, just a little bit, dinosaurs, a wooden spoon, you'll need one pound of baking soda and also a little bit extra, and a bowl to mix your eggs in. Take your box of one pound of baking soda, just dump it into your bowl, break up any of the little clumps that come out. You're going to remember that I have two cups worth of water in here. You're just going to put a little tiny bit in, just a tiny bit, and then go ahead and stir it. The mix, when you're finished with it, is going to only be uh, damp and it's going to be moldable, but it's not going to be soaking wet. So you want to keep adding your water extremely slow. You can see it's starting to come together pretty well right now. Um, you just want to make sure that this is going to be moldable and that it's not going to be runny. If you do happen to add too much water, you can always add a little bit more of the baking soda to your mix. If you want to add a little bit of color and texture, you can just take some old coffee grounds that you have. If you make coffee this morning, just take a little bit of them and put them inside of your mixture and then stir that up really good. When you're done mixing your dough, it's going to look kind of like this. And you're going to notice that it's moldable, but it's not really, really wet. So that's what you want to start out with right there. When it comes to molding your egg, go ahead and just, what you want to do is just start out with a little bit here. You're going to press your dinosaur into the mold, making sure that on the very bottom you have it covered. And then you're going to place on top of your dinosaur more of your mix. And then just shape it into an egg shape, just like so. You're just going to stick it onto a sheet then and let it dry. Continue making all of your dinosaur eggs the exact same way. Out of this batch, I ended up getting four eggs. And what I'm going to do is just leave them air dry now. And depending upon the size of your eggs, it usually takes anywhere from 24 to 36 hours. And you're just going to leave them air dry on the counter. And that's really all there is to making them. Now, if you want to, you can allow your children to be paleontologists by giving them brushes and also little sharper sticks and stuff to break open the eggs. Otherwise, you can also take one spray bottle and fill it with vinegar. And the vinegar actually has a chemical reaction that will melt the eggs and allow the dinosaur to break free. Thank you for watching, and as always, you can visit my website at nuttonbuttpreschool.com for more ideas and activities.